This video is sponsored by Transformer Sweets, made using real Transformer oil, second hand from your local substation. Get 10% off your first order with our special discount code, Stomach Cancer. Right then, in this video, we go to some dilapidated buildings which are currently under refurbishment. First, we go along to Holiday Inn at Gloucester Road in London. This building has been completely stripped and is completely different to how I remember it when the building was open. The entire interior has been removed. This building had at least 11 lifts in it, including one abandoned 70s shindle lift at the end of the building, one generic fire lift in the main staircase, two service lifts which were placed by generics, plus also a creepy 70s Schindler service lift which had loads of wires hanging out on top of it and it was in terrible condition, and six main lifts which were 70s Schindler lifts but they've been heavily modernised over the years. These ones go 3.5 meters a second. Now in the present day the building has been stripped out and most of the lifts have been removed. The only lifts that are still here are four out of the six main lifts. All of the others are gone. Let's take a ride in one of the remaining lifts. These lifts are in very bad condition and it keeps banging the door rollers. This lift goes 3.5 meters a second. How does this still work? How the fuck is this working? It's a shitty bad building. These didn't move at all when I last came. These are quite fast. I've surfed these a million times. Steve. Fucking hell! Yeah, that doesn't sound too good, does it? <gasps> oh, I feel it's going to safety break itself, didn't it? Yeah, that was a bit hairy. I'm weeded out by that. So then, here up at the top floor, let's explore this building. One of the most dilapidated lifts I've ever seen was up here. I wonder if that stack up there must have gone. Here we go. Along to where the service lifts were. The two lifts in front, which are now boarded up, were the main service lifts which were replaced by generic. These have now been removed. On the right was where the spooky Schindler was, which is the only lift in the building which actually stopped at the plant room levels. When this building was open, this lift was in terrible condition. Loose live electrical wires everywhere, all over the car top. But this has now been removed. Those ones are gone. And this here is where the fire lift used to be. And we now go up to the rooftop and motoroom level. And we go into the motor room. So, as the lifts have been removed, there's not much left of them. And let's take a look at the four lifts which are still remaining. This is what they look like. You can see a motor's been replaced and the logics have been replaced with Coal Morgan, which is not my favourite logic. Coal Morgan.
and let's go out onto the rooftop. This lift is turned off due to safety reasons until further notice. Do not turn on. Well, the lift's invisible. That's annoying. As this one's been off for ages. This was off when I came here years ago. Schindler R series, I think. Beefy stuff up here. That is huge. Then we go back to the lifts and let's take a ride on top of one of them. This lift is going 3.5 meters a second and it keeps banging its rollers all the time and it's in very bad condition. Thumbs down the floor. Sounds awful. Fuck. Fuck, it's bad. Oh, that's bad. Oh, this thing's knackered. You go that kind of speed and it's rubbing, that's scary. Oh, oh, that sounds bad. I can feel it's got a safety brake. Oh, that sounds awful. It's eight, it's the plant room. So the top lift is the double height floor. Uh, this, is, this thing's hide. Right, but it's like clanging again. <laughs> oh. It's probably a bit like safety mode. Oh, surprised it doesn't disconnect the safety contact. So this is where he chased us, he went oh, and he started chasing us, we ran up here, we ran back to the lift because on this floor, notice that the two service lifts don't stop, the only lift that stops is the creepy lift, and we got back in the creepy lift, and then the lift didn't move for some reason, so we got back out of the lift, came round here, and it was here where I got strangled, it was here. You fucking would. Hey, thought you'd do a fucking run on me, didn't you? No, we were just looking. No, we were just looking. I'm fucking here. We were just looking. Get the fuck. I don't know. We were just looking. It's the hotel rooms. And that's the toilet service shaft. We're actually going around this building making a lot of noise as we thought it was no security on site. Turns out there was security and they were on the ground floor and they didn't seem to notice us until we left the building. Oh, there's two of them in there. Shit, there's two of them. There's not even one of them. There's two of them. Oh well, I thought it was just the one. Wait, what were they on it, were they? We got around that. So then we now leave Holiday Inn and we go to a very run down shopping centre. This shopping centre is looking pretty bad, however it has got some really nice service lifts. It's got loads of classic 1960s Marriott Scots and a couple of the lifts are still original with original buttons and original logic. Let's take a ride in one of them.
might as well have a really good motor sound. And let's take a ride in another one of the Mavis Scots here. Then we now go to an office building in Birmingham. The building has now been stripped, ready to be converted into its next usage. I wonder if this will be converted into residential, considering that office buildings are in decline nowadays. Now my friends actually went here two weeks earlier and told me there was some cone destination dispatch MX-18 eco discs in the building, which was still working. Two weeks later when I managed to get there, I was too late. They'd stripped the lifts completely in just two weeks and the building no longer has any power and it is just an empty shell. There you go. On. No personnel to travel in the lift, materials only. You can see destination dispatch. That's quite posh in this bit. So on this main lift lobby, there's still the original marble walls and floor. Now if you go up the stairs, the rest of the floors are stripped and there's no other remaining features of the building anywhere to be seen. Maybe they stripped it and moved out and waited for the other people to well, finish it. They soft stripped it, they've not been there, they've not been there, John. The soft stripped it. Oh, and this door open towards you. Yeah, the lift's uh, long gone. That's, that's the button from before I saw this. That's, that's not the comp lift, that's the lift before. It's old. Maybe the motors are the only thing left. Caught Shit. fire, innit? <laughs> yeah, it looks it slightly, like there. They've had a big weed party at set whole place on fire. Oh, oh this was a cannabis fire. <laughs> <laughs> that's spray paint. Is that it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because it's a cannabis fire. <laughs> <laughs> Floor seven. He's feeling well, trading cables. Yeah, go and change. Okay. Ah, uh, not much is left. I was this intact last time, so I missed it. I was too late, basically. Yeah. We now go out onto the rooftop and into the motor room, which is now empty. It went from having working lifts to the lifts entirely removed in just two weeks. They were working, weren't they, weekend? Yeah, there's a lot of scrap value in the motor. Oh, no, big ones as well. Oh, too late, I see. It's gone. Wow. They stripped that quick, and you were telling me it was all motors in here last time, eh? Yeah. Oh, right. So, it's like a big circle of water. And the power works in here as well, there's no power. Isn't this a different place? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we can't do it, it's restricted. Do not access the upper roof. Oh, let's go up. We now go up the ladder to the upper roof of the building. The T Tower. Someone just jumped off of a parachute. <laughs> And we then walk across the rooftop to the building next door. This building is also under renovation, with some of the floors being stripped out, about to be converted. But meanwhile, a couple of the other floors in the building are still in use. Snowfall station over there. That window cleaning machine has got your name on it. <laughs> well, right in front of the camera. <laughs> Here's your building with a crane on the roof, then. The one that we did. It's got red lights on it now. Oh, yes. It's finished. We managed to sneak into this building from this roof and let's go and take a look around it and see if security notices. The lifts here are some code MX20 Eco Discs. So first we go along to a service lift. Oh, it's not. No, the code's there. 073 oh, 
Ah, sí, sí. No, no. Ah, sí, sí, ¿ves qué pasa? ¿Por qué no? And a long tube of main glass lifts. That's in mint condition. Where should we go? I'm not sure I'm going to go with the bomb. Okay, security's down there. Down a couple? Five. This is mint condition. Oh, no. I've it. Look at this floor. Look at this floor. Is this floor? Is this floor? Now that floor's still active. Just six. There's still tents in this building. Yeah. Huh? Still tents in here. There's lots of shared offices. Yeah, but there's not, there's not many. This is all stripped as well. There's not many tent ones. Oh my god, you're getting out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Push out the way. This looks empty still. Yeah. Oh, that's got lights. Ooh. Sensor lights. Wow. Hey, you can swap this. <laughs> Who's this at? <laughs> <laughs> He's doing shit. Looks like they're doing it, I don't know. What in this? Can you squat? Just kick out a security guard and bear down to those bros. Yeah, it could be on the vehicle, just see where it goes, it could be on the vehicle. It could be on the vehicle, let's see where it goes. Yeah, it's on the vehicle, you're open its door. Can you straight to the goods lift? Is that where you going? If it was chaos, I should have said you could have called it up. I thought we were just in case something was chaos. Oh, no. Is that Remember the one in Reading when you served it? The galleries and the security guards looking across the atrium. Oh, that was dodgy, that was. We just have to stop and see someone. They're yeah, long waiting floors. Hello, security. No. Oh, that's a bit violent. Look at the shaft lights. There's a footprint on the There's a footprint on the <laughs> yeah, who's been on top of lift? How risky should we be? How far down should we go? Do you want to see what's on the floor did we go to last time? Yeah. Be a bit risky, take it a bit lower. No, we just go down, we turn around and we're burglars. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what floor did we get to last time? Five was it? Should yeah, we try four? Fourth floor. Yeah, there's... Oh, no. oh, I thought there's nothing there. Oh, there's desks in that one. There's a microwave. Watch out for cameras. So we now got even lower down into the building, getting closer to security. Go down to two. No, let's not. Yeah, 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 three. Just quickly send the lift up and go like that. It's like lower though. ground. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, this is active as well, isn't it? Yeah, two computers here, yeah, it's active. Next one in. And then two, two more in. One. Oh, one. Oh, yeah, we're going to bump into security. That'd be ground, wouldn't it, security? <laughs> yeah. The next one's empty. Yeah, that's what I mean when I've got to get out. Oh, if one flew away from security, you'll run. Yeah, it's nice to take risks. That's got scaffolding, mate, that ain't That's on the lower ground. Where's that restaurant? And we're now on the first floor. We thought we were very close to security now. Who we thought was on the ground floor? Turns out we were closer than we thought as security is actually on the first floor. And it was at this point we got close to security and saw him. And despite how close we were, somehow security had not seen us. That's a security. Security's asleep. Did you see a ball guy? What's that there? Is he asleep? 
No, he's watching TV. Oh, fuck. He wasn't facing us, he was facing the wall. Oh, I was about to go down there and open the door. I thought it was a way out. I thought it was the street that I just saw ahead. <laughs> oh, so it's security head on the ground and the lower grounds. Oh, he's on this first. Mm-hmm. Should we press the alarm at one of them? Yeah, go on, we're right. Get your finish ready. Mm-hmm. Ready to leave. Your Let's call it and see if we can see him upstairs as we as from the top of the atrium. Nine no. Oh, yeah, they hold it in for five seconds. Yeah, let's go. Which way was it? It's not this way. No, it's, not, it's this way, it's this way, wasn't it? That way. As we leave the building, we made lots of noise, including pressing the alarm button in the lift. But it seems that security didn't even hear us. So then, we now leave this building and go along to an abandoned Hughes store. This chain of shops is a bit similar to Argos in the sense a public part of the shop is quite small, but they've got a large warehouse out the back. This particular shop didn't make much money as it closed down. Well, security's on their way because we triggered all the PIRs, but fuck him. Now we're going to play with the lift, except it's not a normal lift. It is a... <laughs> That's how you let your friend fall over. <laughs> it's got the lift. Oh, oh that feels weird. I feel, oh, it feels so strange. It's like it's got rollers under that. That feels really strange going up this thing. I wonder if this is going to be converted, but it's actually on rollers. I can feel rollers going over my feet. Yeah, it's got the same sort of rollers as that underneath the whole way. Take it down. Is that a lift? That looks like it should be some sort of lift device. Oh, we're in a shop. This is like it's. I'm drawing my bar, there's the camera. This is actually mad, isn't it? <laughs> Old, isn't it? <laughs> it's like Argos kind of style yeah, yeah, yeah. shit. Small shot with a huge stock room. LG there, 4K HDR. Where 4K was first. Nobody gets bombed. <laughs> 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 What's that? Atomic bomb glass zone? Yeah, that's a glass zone. <laughs> that's why we need to be an anchor. And security guy turns up, Oi, what are you doing oh, in my shop? Well, you can say cunt to run. Fuck me, what's going on in here? Oh, the fucking ceiling's come down here. Water leak. Yeah. Water leak. This huggy's got bankrupt to say. I don't know much about this. Oh, yeah, oh there you go. It's the room. The <laughs> rooms work. Hell, LEDs and that. PIR security's on their way. Oh, the server thing there. Service trashed. Toilets. Kitchen. Can't see a fucking thing in there. Security turning up. Is he pulling in? No, he's not. It will take him hours to turn up. They're all this off site security. I never turn up quick. Oh, they got a light. One light on. Welcome to the shit room. Flashing. The same model actually, bell size bunker. They're the same model. Ah, yeah. oh, that's, yeah, that's how it should be. <laughs> Does the fire alarm work? Exit, what's in there? Back into the stock room. Oh, it's bored off. You can't get to the other part of the stock room from this part. That's weird. That is very strange. You can't get between the two stock room sections. Oh, there's a big empty space here. 
Yeah. Let's move it. We move it. What's the roof? What sort of roof's that? A shit roof. Let's go on it. It's all this build together, Miss. Hey, yeah, we've roofed Huggies, isn't that great? Is it open? It's open. It's locked. Ah. Good night, you